it's east means which direction ra if you take directions south north east and west is it correct or not yes, yes or no yes now yes sir lakshay you are just your speaker something you come out network cutter keep it terrace now see the person is at somewhere here he started moving 1.5 meters 1.5 meters towards to east is it correct or not ra yes sir yes now after 1.5 he reaches to the position b now from that position how how much he has travel 2 meters towards to south 2 meters sir 2 meters south towards to south means he is travel 2 meters now from the c point he has travel again 2 meters to, to south south sir how much towards to the east again how much sir 4.5 meters 4.5 meter so this is the person which has been see east next one what south and again he has travel east is it correct or not yes or no yes sir yes sir all of you yes sir no ra yes Now. sir so if you will observe this this is how exactly matched in our notebook understand it and if you join this line 1.5 meter 2 meter and 4.5 meter then the distance is equals to just understand it the distance is equals to your notebook also you can draw just imagine 1 cm is equals to 1 meter like that you draw understand it so now distance is equals to as we know that actual length of total path actual length is how much 1.5 plus 2 meter plus 4.5 is it correct or not 8 meter sir yeah, distance is equals to 1.5 meter plus 2 meter plus 4.5 meter which is equals to 8 meters is the distance traveled by you is it correct or not now displacement for displacement purpose how to do means very simple now all of you take understanding your scale you have your scale are you having scale or not are you having scale or not yes or no so now you have scale each meter 1 meter is equals to imagine let 1 meter is equals to 1 cm please take like that and draw exactly like this 1.5 cm 1.5 cm 2 cm and 4.5 cm please draw all of you draw exam also you have to do like this let 1 meter is equals to 1 cm for our assumption because 1 meter we cannot draw correct or not paper is it possible to draw 1 meter line yes or no no sir no that is why with the help of scale with the help of scale you draw let 1 meter is equals to 1 cm draw fastly all of you with the help Bar of scale minute, you should know because this is the most important conversion so now we should find displacement resultant displacement very easy understanding what is the displacement ra what is displacement you tell me the shortest distance correct or not so from a yes, i am saying in the form of centimeters take 1.5 cm next he will reaches to b from that point you travel 2 cm exactly draw next from that point you draw finally will reaches to d 4.5 meters 4.5 cm draw this one now what is the initial position is a final position is d now what is the shortest distance if we join this a and d that is the shortest distance that is only called as displacement is it correct or not yes sir yes or no yes or no manish yes, yes now if you imagine that 1.5 cm 2 cm 4.5 cm now keep your scale from point a to point d and tell me how much it is coming shortest possible distance just join the two points and tell me how much it is coming displacement Sir, 6.3 cm, sir. 6.3, very good. Distance is equals to 1 point. So, 6.3 cm means how much, sir? Brother, 6.3 meters. Correct or not? 
How much ra? 6.3 centimeter. If you we'll join that, understand? 6.3. Is it coming? 6.3. Others also. Ma Lakshmi, Manvish, coming or not? Displacement is equal Sir, to. Sir, 6.3. Ah, 6.3 meters. Is it coming, Manya? So now. Sir, 6.3 centimeter. Ah, now you tell me. Is it uh, displacement is uh, lesser than distance or uh, bigger than distance? Always. Lesser, sir. Understand all of you. That is. That is yes, the of it. Understanding, Ram. Right? So that like this, you have to calculate. Will you calculate it or not? Here, one point you should remember. Let one centimeter is equal yes, to one sir. meter. Manvish, you understood? Okay, that is all about it. Now, finish Dara. Yes, sir. Okay, so we'll move for it. This is all about the distance and displacement. Is there any, any anybody is having any doubt in this? No doubt, sir. Okay. So if you are clear with this, then we'll go for next concept called as uniform motion and non-uniform motion. All of you keep heading. Uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Uniform and non-uniform motion. All of you keep heading. Uniform and non-uniform motion. What is our next concept? Uniform and non-uniform motion. Very, very important one. For full year, this full academic year is this is the most important. Uniform and non-uniform motion. Understand? So now, uniform motion. First, let me see what is uniform motion. First, listen, later I will say definitions. Uniform motion means, for example, let me take, understand? Uh, let me consider two boys we have. So one boy and one girl I will take. So one a boy, Pradosh, I will take. Next one girl, whom I, whom I need to choose? Can I choose Manya? Manya, is it okay? Sir? Can I take your name? Hi, ah, yes, sir. Ah. Now, now see. Now let me take this is what? Pradosh. Pradosh. Uniform motion and mania, let me take mania. Now, this is mania and this is brothers. Uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Non-uniform motion. For example, let me see now. Pradosh, let me start with the Pradosh. Now, Pradosh is traveling, started with the initial zero kilometers. Mania also zero kilometers. Now, after one hour, after one hour, Pradosh traveled 10 kilometers. And after next one hour also, Pradosh traveled 10 kilometers. After next one hour also, Pradosh traveled 1 kilometer. After next one hour also, Pradosh traveled 1 kilometer. So is it every time he is traveling with the same or different speeds? Same, sir. Same speed. Is it correct or not? Yes, sir. No? Yes. So, like this motion, like this motion is called as when you are traveling equal distance in equal interval of time, equal interval of time, then that motion is called as uniform motion. Are you people understanding, Ram? Now, let us come to the Mania case, non-uniform motion. Mania started with the zero kilometers. After one hour, Mania also traveled 10 kilometers, not an issue. Next, next one hour, she has traveled 20 kilometers. Next one hour, she has traveled 25 kilometers. 
Understand? Next one hour, she has traveled forty kilometers. Now you tell me, is she traveling equal or unequal? Time is same, but unequal distance. Is it correct or not? Time is same, but distance yes, is very yes. different. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So this motion, this kind of motion is called as when you are traveling unequal distance in equal interval of time. Then that motion is called as non-uniform motion. Are you people understand what is that? Mamanesh. Yes, sir. That one is only good. That yes, is sir. One. This is what is uniform motion and what is non-uniform motion. Now we will plot the graphs also for this. That is only most important. Understand? So first. Let us write the definitions. Then later we will uh, go with the graphs. Write all of you. Uniform motion. Uniform motion. And to take Pradosh is an example. Understanding non-uniform motion, you take uh, Manya is example. Uniform motion, Pradosh alone you take because our real life example should be very important for us. Understand that is now uniform motion. First write uniform motion. A body has a uniform motion. A body has a uniform motion. A body has a uniform motion. If it travels equal distances, if it will travels equal distances, if it will travels equal distances in equal interval of time, in equal interval of time, equal distances in equal interval of time. Comma. No matter how small, no matter how small these time intervals may be, no matter how small these time intervals may be, means time intervals may be for one second you can take one second, next second, next second, or one minute, one minute, one minute, or you can take uh, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, or you can take uh, one hour, one hour. Your choice. So interval of duration of interval doesn't matter if it is traveling. Understanding, understanding. If you are, if you are, uh, if you are in a, uh, what is that? Time duration is doesn't matter. When you are, whatever the time duration, if it is small interval or big interval, doesn't matter. Always, if it is traveling equal distance, then it is understanding called as uniform motion. That's all. Equal interval of time as well as. What brothers? Sir, after that, uh, no matter how small, what sir? Ah. Right. No matter how small this interval, no matter how small, no matter how small these time intervals may be, no matter how small these time intervals may be. That's all. Okay. Example. Pradosh. Pradosh, you write example. This you write. Exactly, you draw picture also. No issues. You can draw. Example, you can take. Sir, uniform motion. Ah. Definition. Uniform motion. uniform motion only. Definition, sir. Definition, I have not. This, just now I have told definition only. A body has a uniform motion. If it travels equal distances. If it travels equal distances. In equal intervals of time, equal distances in equal interval of time, comma, no matter how small, no matter how small these time intervals may be, no matter how small these time intervals may be. Understand? Uh? Yes or no? And you draw this is the example. Okay. Now, graph. Let us see. When you are coming to the uniform motion, graph is most important part. How the graph will be? How we can identify whether it is a uniform or not? If we plotted the values of this one, understand? It? Then always you remember the uniform motion graph between the distance and time. We are taking for distance and time. Correct. Always it will be a straight line. Understand? If we take graph paper. This is y coordinate and this is x coordinate. X coordinate and y coordinate. If we take it, understand? 
so this is what will come one one it will come as a distance and another one it will come as a time so it will take time and distance then always the uniform motion the graph will be straight line note it down all of you so the, the graph okay, of uniform motion is what straight line understanding amma uniform motion uniform motion always the graph will be straight line understanding yes yes sir only hmm next this is the graph for uniform motion next you write non uniform motion 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 right a body has a non uniform motion a body has a non uniform motion a body has a non uniform motion if it travels unequal distances unequal distances and time must be what equal or unequal time time must be people will think that time is also unequal time is not unequal time is must be what time must be equal both the things time must be what time must be equal understanding equal intervals but distance, distance is equal unequal, then sir. uniform motion distance is unequal non uniform motion understanding time is not changing time is always same intervals understanding that is a body has a non uniform motion if it travels unequal distances unequal distances in equal intervals of time unequal distances in equal interval of time 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 example mania you can take mania and you do it very fast manya have you finished it now let us see the graph if you want you can take non uniform motion is a example of a freely falling ball also if you drop the ball from your terrace then that is also example of non uniform ball you can write that also example a freely falling body any body a freely falling body freely falling body is also example of non uniform motion is also example of what ra non uniform motion understand so now if it comes to here sir, what is only freely falling body what ma sir what is uh, freely falling body freely falling means without any touching if it is falling from suppose you are dropping something from your terrace then that is called as freely falling without any contact understand okay sir yeah alone alone we can see alone if it is falling that is called as freely falling body understand brothers if you drop a ball okay, a ball is dropped from the roof that is you can write freely falling body example understanding example okay sir a ball is dropped from roof is it okay okay sir sir for this is non uniform motion ah non uniform motion dropped from the roof okay that's all now let us see the graph have you written example of mania now graph you see graph again what will come x axis and y axis so x axis what will come time y axis what will come distance will come y axis will come time will come this is x and this is y now non uniform motion it is not constant so is it will come straight line or curved motion curved 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 line curved motion sir curved line understanding so non uniform motion the graph will be like this so this is only called as non uniform motion is it okay non uniform motion draw with a different pen draw with a different pen one is with the blue color 
Okay, my black color, another one is blue color, like that you show. This is graph, thermal graph. This is non-uniform motion. Any doubt, anyone? Okay. So till here, if you, have, if you don't have any doubt, then understanding. Always remember. Ah. Can you write it? Now, I need to say one point. Remember, this non-uniform motion is also we can call as accelerated motion. So many of them, they don't know anybody. So many of you don't know. Your friends also, your sir also won't teach. Understand? Accelerated motion. Non-uniform motion is also called as accelerated motion. Remember that. Because it is increasing acceleration or decreasing acceleration. It is not going with constant speed. Understanding graph. So if change in speed.